You know, it wasn't my original intention to draw a vampire, but I'm not complaining. Hello everyone, I'm June and today I'll be attempting to draw women. Because the last time I tried to draw a girl, it looks like this. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You can't even say this is a girl. It's a failed attempt to draw Voldemort. Jokes aside, I'll be redrawing this old OC of mine that I drew back in 2017. There's a lot to say about this character. Like, um, she has no nose. Yeah, that's about it. And I forgot to add ears back then. Anyways, first I'm gonna draw a ball, the line for the eyes, and then her V-shaped jaw. Uh, her neck. And I'll make her shoulders tilt a bit to make it look less symmetric. For the hand, I quickly sketched it without much care for accuracy or detail. And then for her hair, I started out with the bangs, then the outlines of the rest of the hair, completing it with a bit more detail. I've been reading a lot of chainsaw man recently so i just copied its style to draw the nose for the mouth i decided to draw a simple smile but then i made her open her mouth a bit because apparently that's hot her shoulders were a bit stiff so i added more curves and then lightly erased the guidelines to draw the siren mean girl eyes We'll put her on a spaghetti strap crop top. I had no idea it was called that. And one of those college jackets. Oh, we can't forget about the years again. And that's the sketch. I'm still sad we're not gonna draw hot men today, but it's fine. Anyway, let's color now. A base color for everything and then the hair. I'm not really vibing with these colors. It looks edible but it's a redraw gotta follow the reference i'll darken everything with a multiply layer and test out a dynamic light source but i was having one of those smooth brain moments and i added a light source coming from the top that was pink which made her hair look like it was all pink from the beginning it didn't even look like a redraw anymore but i like the light not bad but it needs more shadows i have no idea what i'm doing i'll make her eyes glow because why not? I'll add more detail to the hair. Oh, I used this bluish color completely by accident, but it looked so good. So I'll put it on the rest of the hair. Man, he really looks like her hair is all pink. You know what? I'll just make another redraw and not add a pink light source. I attempted adding pupils, but it just made her look scary. That's even better! I also tried to make the color of the top of her hair look more like the reference, but it just looked disgusting. And now for the boobas. I've never really drawn boobas before, but I have watched tutorials on how to paint it. Just don't don't ask me why. Let's put on some eyelashes and finally work on her hands. I don't know why, but hands just add a little bit more spice to the image, you know? But I can't really explain. But yeah, I'll start by adding long nails and then painting it black. Those two fingers look really weird, but trust the process. We make her hair shiny. I think this part here is looking kinda empty. Maybe some jewelry will do. I tried making it like wool, but it's quite hard to master the art of making random blobs that still look good from a distance. It's hard to do that, and it's it doesn't look good. I'm not gonna sit here and try to convince you that it looks good. I, I need more practice. I was thinking of adding a red gem here, as if it's blood. I gave up trying to dry it on my own, so I just grabbed a gem brush from the CSP store. There's some missing footage here, but I drew her upper lip and then made it shiny. I'll add her hand shadows and work on her hand again. More dramatic shadows and light and our beautiful vampire Voldemort is done. Anyways, the file in which I saved this image was called Ellie 2.0. Ellie, that's probably what I named her, but if this is the 2.0 version, I'm scared of what the 1.0 version looked like. 